morning. It's coffee and cards. And my crazy cats. Yoda just jumped down. He's Somebody's been chasing him all morning long. What are you doing over there? Come here. I don't know what he's doing. All right, he's settling. Yeah, Bubba's been after him. And Rosalie's been after him. So let me get this started in the background so I'll be able to see your comments in a minute. And when you pop in, say something so I know you're here. And here's Rosalie up in the middle of all of my stuff. What are you doing, girly? So I know a lot of you do church this morning and y'all can watch later. That's cool. Today we're going to be playing with um, the Grace's Garden set and I'm going to show that to you in just a second here. But first coffee. I have my computer going in the background so I can see how much of a lag we have. So it sounds like we're going to be pretty quiet this morning as far as the kitties go. At least for now. Hey Virgie, welcome. Good morning. How are things where you're at? We are really socked in. You can see our smoke behind us. Um, we are not in any danger from the fires. We're completely on the other side of the state from all of that. I do have lots of friends and family who are um, in areas that are very close to fires. And of course, we're sending them good thoughts for their safety. And our smoke is supposed to start clearing out about midday tomorrow. It's rain. Oh, we could really use that rain. That would be so nice. It hasn't really rained more than like 13 drops at a time since, gosh, since about the end of June. It's been a long time. Okay, so I'm going to go through all the gyrations to flip my camera around here. So bear with me for just a moment. Apple applied an update this morning, so I gotta make sure that, that I get all my settings back to where they were. Yep, I'm upside down, that's good. That's a good sign. And here we have the work surface, woohoo. All right, so what we're going to be working with today is Grace's Garden. And this is a photopolymer set. Has all of these super cute gates and florals. And of course, you know I got it for because it had a kitty in it. I'll just own that. So here's our, our stamp set. I really like the photopolymers because they're clear. You can see where you are applying them. Um, that is the, in the pros and cons chart, that is the pro. You can see where it's going. In the cons, they, if you're going to color like with markers, they do not hold the ink uh, wet for as long, but I'm going to show you a, a trick for that. Um, and we're not going to do a lot of markers directly on these stamps. We're actually going to color them in later. And I've got my all of my marker arsenal right there. I'm not too worried about telling you what colors we're using today because we're doing flowers. So pick whatever colors you guys love. That's what flowers are all about. Um, the dyes that go with this set, it's called the Garden Gateway Dyes. And so we've got our little gate here. We've got all of our florals. There's some extra florals. And then there's an extra arch and a gate. And after we 
when we when we get done, I'm going to show you what you can do with this arch and the gate too, as well as these little sprigs. Of course, there's our kitty. So we will be using those for just a second. But for now, what we're going to do is just to stamp on some white with the Memento black ink, because we're gonna come back into this with markers. So I want to use the Memento ink that we can color over the top of and not smear it. So we're going to need our gate. do some kitties and flowers and fill this up. And there go the crazy cats. I could hear them in the background. <laughs> what are you guys doing back there? Hello, Jennifer, welcome, and Karen. Hi, Karen. All right, you guys, so you missed, missed a little bit. I said we're working with Grace's Garden this morning. I love Grace's Garden. It is so cute, and it's very versatile. And we are just stamping with our Memento Black so that we can cut these out and uh, Make some super cute, fun things. I know, isn't that kitty cute? You know I got this set just because it had a kitty in it. And then I went, oh, and the rest of it's awesome too. You guys see, we're just filling up our little sheet here, and this is just a scrap of white cardstock that I have because we're going to be using our dies and cutting all those out, so it doesn't matter which direction they're going right now. So I already know that it's raining in Maryland. Where are... How's it like where the rest of you are? Because here in Oregon, it is super smoky. We are not in any danger from the fires where we are. We are just getting all of the unhealthy air quality. And here's a little bird too. This bird is awesome. going to pull our sentiment out of here because we'll stamp it in just a moment. All right. For our sentiment, we're going to be using the Tasteful Labels dies. We've used this one before. You guys know that I love it. And we're going to maybe use that one or that one. Let me pull them out of here and you guys can help me decide which which one of these we want to use this morning. Morning, Erica. And as always, you guys feel free to remind me to close my ink pads because <laughs> I get to talking and I don't do it. All right, so here are the two dies. I think that will fit the sentiment. 
Which one do you like, right or left? And I know we've got from watching the my computer behind us there, we've got about a 20 second lag. So. Okay, we have we have one book to the left. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? Two lefts. Okay, this one it is. Let's put this one back because I have a tendency for guys to go on walkabout now, which I totally didn't believe it was a thing, and then it happened to me, so... Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> and for color, we're going to be working with a really pretty, like, sunset pattern or palette. So I think, I think we'll put, these are the two that I grabbed because they say sunset to me. <laughs> it is unanimous. Look at you guys. Left, left, left. Okay. Let's stamp with the Flirty Flamingo. That looks very sunsetish. die cutter is off camera so you guys are gonna have to just hang out for a minute and I'll keep talking to you while we while we do stuff let's get all these out of there first okay so we need our kitty I need to get one of those little magnet strips like what uh, Jen was talking about last week, I think it was, wasn't it? We're going to be coloring after we uh, die cut. And I know you can do it both ways, but I really like to just have all the pieces in front of me so that they can inspire me at the moment. All right, so I'm just making sure I've got all of my... Hey, look, I didn't lose any from the last time that I uh, used them. And a bird. Okay. Do you like to color before you cut everything out? Do you like that to be your absolute last step? Once I get these repositioned, you're going to hear some popping, and that's normal. And you know that I do not have the Stampin' Up um, emboss and cut machine yet, but I will. And once I do, it'll be smaller, and I'll be able to put it on camera. The one that I have is very large. <laughs> I would have to go through all kinds of motions to uh, be able to rearrange things for you to see it. So, you can just listen to it instead. Okay, there's our poppin', and that's normal. And that's the sound of my guys hitting the floor, and that's how I lost the one the last time I lost them. Okay. 
Alright, we're almost done. Alright, so here's the magic that is die cutting. Aren't those cute? And our beautiful sentiment. I love this set because look at the, it embosses at the same time that it cuts. And so we've got this really, really pretty little embossed border going around there. So we're just gonna set that one aside for now. And we're going to color. And the other day, one of the things that I got that I absolutely love, 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 and anybody else who loves markers is gonna love, love, love this, is the blender pen. So if you can see over here on this edge, this was me practicing and, and seeing how well they would blend together. It does a really nice job. And uh, it just takes it from looking a little more color bookish to looking more uh, watercolored. So we're going to have a sunset. So let's do our gate in like maybe some a little bit darker. Look at these. If you guys have I told you that my mom and my son are all artists different mediums my son um, I taught him a lot of things but he taught me markers and that was really awesome because he does a lot of anime art and the markers get used differently in um, comics and cartoons than they do, um, than like paints and colored pencils do. So I'm channeling my son, because you just really want like an idea, a hint of marker, and it will actually look like it is more complicated than it is when you're done. And I think that was one of the hardest things for me to let go art ways because I was used to putting in so much detail. And he's like, mm, no, mom, just make single strokes, get it on there, and it's going to look awesome. And he's right. So we're just going to hit this with the blender pen where it comes together and soften those two join edges so it'll look like this gate is just a little sun-kissed. Oh, but you know, Erica, no. <laughs> you would not totally screw up the die cutting. No, because you just... Uh, and there's a... Jen, help me and correct me if I'm wrong, but there's isn't there a magnet sheet now that will just hold those in place for you? And that's what I do not have with the machine that I currently have. All right, so there's our gate. Let's color our kitty. This kitty's gonna be, I think this kitty will be brown and orange. This will be my silly Yoda cat that wouldn't sit on my lap. It's been being chased around all day. Yours is on the way. Yay. 
I'm excited for you to get it too because I want to play with it vicariously through your videos. Alright, so there's our cute kitty. Our bird. What do you think? Maybe we have lots of goldfinches out here because they're eating all of the uh, all the sunflowers right now. And a little darker wing. Yeah, he matches the kitty. They're friends. All right, on our flowers. We're just going to base in our greens. One of the other things I really love about this stamp set is because the lines are pretty much like I draw. <laughs> and so it, it feels very intuitive to just follow all of these little flowers that they have in here. And then let's come back in with a different color of green and do some some highlights there. Right, the magnetic platform. That's the one I was talking about. Sorry if it sounds like my comments are disconnected with what's going on here because I keep looking up to see the comments. All right, our flowers. Let's do, let's do like some pinks and oranges, huh? And of course, this looks like lavender to me, so it's going to be purple. All right, so I want to use our blender pen on this, so I'm just going to do part of our hollyhocks here. These blender pens, I think they're filled with xylene. Um, they are really great for blending the two colors together. And sometimes you get a whole new color. See how that really softened it and gave it some, some depth and a little bit of texture there. Ooh, black hollyhocks, yeah, those would be gorgeous. We don't have any here because our wind is too high and I don't have any place that I can stake them and make them safe from being blown over. I love them though. We planted a bunch of them at my brother's house in, in Maryland along his fence because they don't get hardly any wind there. All right, so there are our colored pieces. We kind of did this backwards because I was really excited about jumping into getting all of all of the fun stuff there. And we did not cut out our card backs. So we're gonna do that now. And 
this is some of the curry. So we're going to go, we're going to go five and a half here. And then four and a quarter minus a scotch for our fold line. And this is gorgeous DSP. And I cannot remember the name of the set that it's from. <laughs> so Jen, jump in there. Um, but first, coffee. <laughs> The blender pens come three to a pack and they're double ended. So you have blender pens for a while. They're both brush tips. And even though it might look like, here, let me show the other one. It might look like it's discolored. You just run it across your grid paper or a sheet of blank paper until it runs clear. And then you're good to go with blending again. So same as when I showed you guys how to um, do stamps with the markers and then spin them off so that you don't have all that color on there. So what we want out of this one is the sunset looking and then this whole thing just like spoke to me all at the same time when I was digging through things the other day going, hmm, what are we going to make this week? because I saw this sunset part of this paper and I have wanted to play with Grace's garden for a long time and didn't have something that spoke to me like this paper does. So, I think we're going to cut that because I'm after the center portion. Let's do this one. So we're going to take that to four inches down through here. And we can probably do a one sheet wonder <laughs> minus the chunk that I'm going to take out of here. And we will talk about One Sheet Wonders at a different time. They're pretty awesome. I've been playing with them here lately. And there's something that was taught to me by my good friend, Jen. All right, so two, let's take two and a half off of this because we're still after that sunset-y looking part there. And then, Five inches of that, and that I think is going to be perfect. Oh, I like that. Right. So, you guys going to see this coming together? I like all those colors together. Don't you? All right, Rosalie, get off my paper. <laughs> Just remember that naughty kitties can crop up at any time during, during cards and coffee. Kind of wondering if we, do we need, do we need some, like a little bit of a path? I don't know, we'll wait. We'll just do this for now. See how it speaks to us in a bit. I think I want some clouds on there. I think that would look really cute. All right, so there are some super, super cute clouds in the mountain air set. This is another one that I use a lot when we're after this cloud right there. And we're going to stamp that in our whisper white. Oops. 
some random wispy clouds. Jen, I don't know what you're talking about. For what? Use it for what? So we're going to go ahead and tack this onto our card and use your adhesive of choice. Oh, and I didn't show you this is the other side of that, which would have been a totally different looking card. Oh yeah, that would be cute too. We'll have to uh, play with that here in a minute. We're going to freehand cut that in just a minute, I think. But for now, let's go ahead and get everything here all based out how we want it. Let's see, it's nice you have those little pieces. You can just kind of move them around till they speak to you and say yes, yes, yes. There's a bird will go up here. Key's going to be looking at him. Because they're friends. He's not food. I'm going to cut a little path that just kind of swoops like that and we're going to see what it looks like. You have this paper too? What kind of cool fun things have you done with it? Tell me, tell me. It is such pretty paper. I love this set. Okay, so just kind of Maybe just a little solid purple down there at the bottom. Do not worry about trying to trim it into looking like a path. Alright, let's 
let's see what that looks like. All right, I do think I kind of like that because then we've got a little bit of of the horizon there too. That looks way more like the scene that I had in my head. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, the other side of that would be beautiful with the daisy punch. All right, so we're going to stick this one down. I can totally see daisies and happy. It's very, the other side of this is very happy. This side is more serene and contemplative. So we're going to use our glue dots for sticking this down. If you guys haven't used the glue dots yet, they're amazing. <laughs> it's like for a little bird. I only need one. And I don't have to worry about the glue drying time there. One of the ornate border die cuts. Oh, yeah, that sounds really pretty. All right, we're going to pull this off to the side just a little bit, give it some more visual interest. Here. All right, our kitty and this flower, we're going to use some dimensionals on, pop them up a little bit. Probably really only need one on this flower, but we're going to put two on it. And you guys, I remember I've told you so many times that I was so not thinking that I was ever going to need the the uh, paper snips. And now I have two sitting here. And I have a third one on the way for cutting adhesives. Yes, I do. <laughs> because they're that awesome. Let's put our kitty on there first. We'll find out where he's going to sit and then we'll plant the flowers. How about kitty right there? Okay. Some flowers right there. So it doesn't matter that the flowers are in our path. You should see all the things that are growing outside in my paths. <laughs> Some of them bloom, most of them don't. Most of them are weeds. And we're going to use the larger dimensionals on our sentiment. I love, I 
love that overlapping because yeah, let's do that. All right, so we could stop here. This looks just fine, but we're not going to. And you know me and the um, whisper white seam binding ribbon that I love to dye. So I already did some of that. And we're just going to tie a bow. And I used I used colors from all the markers that are laying here, which you can't see. All those markers are on this ribbon. But the way that I dye it, it turns out very, very pale and pastel. And just remember that I run them through the ink pad or run the markers over them and then just spritz them with water and let it dry. And it does its own thing and turns out absolutely beautiful every time. And I, I think I figured out one of the reasons I really like doing my ribbon this way. It reminds me a lot of soaping. Um, Cause I can have an idea of what I want to do and what colors I want to put together. But ultimately what I end up with is this beautiful collaboration between me and the materials. And I get that a lot when I'm, I'm soaping. So I put the colors in, I give it a swirl and what I end up with is completely up to the soap. Okay, so there's our little bow and make our ends nice. Those are not my ribbon scissors. <laughs> as soon as I cut into that, I could tell those were not my ribbon scissors. So we're just going to tack this down. I think we're going to put it right there. And then I'm going to tack this down with the shimmery crystal effects. This stuff is super cool because you can use it as an accent and it will make little shimmery crystal effects, hence the name. Um, and you can also use it as a glue. And this way, when your glue oozes out a little bit to where you don't want it, instead of looking like a mistake it looks like you meant to do that because it's shimmery and shimmery is always good more glitter more glitter more glitter all right and i think then we're going to put some some of our little pearls Got some metallic pearls. These are gold, gold and silver. I think we want to work with the gold one since we're doing sunset. And we're just going to Put a few here and there. Actually, as I was saying this, it's like, uh, this one. I love this, I call it the shoe button. When you have three in a row, and I think it just looks very, very feminine and tasteful. All right, so there's the front of our card. And I think I want to stamp just a little something here on the inside as well so that there's like a little sweet pop of color. So let's go back and use our which one, which one? We're going to pull the one that I think looks like lavender. And just 
off the edge just to give a little idea of something fun there. And then I'll also do that on the envelopes too. What do you guys think? There's our card for today. That's Grace's Garden with a guest appearance by Mountaineer and the tasteful label dies. If you have any questions or want to know specifics on color, because you know that I, when I'm working with markers, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to that. Um, but if you want to know sometime this morning, maybe up until mid-afternoon, what colors I did use in the markers, um, put it in the comments and I will, because I know which ones that I grabbed from here. And I can let you know that if you want specifics. But really, when you're coloring flowers, do your own thing. It's a lot of fun. Okay, you guys. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy your day. And I will see you next week. Here's me going upside down. Bye, guys. <laughs>